There we go. So it should pop up and be like, hey, you're live. Something like that. Hey, hey it's, it's receiving started. content. Yay, we are alive. Okay. Hooray. We should probably tweak that out. We have a liveness. Yeah. Is it just, is this, are we just, do I have to hit a button to actually go live or are we just, we just live? No, we're live. We're just, oh, we're, we're just, we're just, we're just live. Just, we're just live. Yeah. I got it. Well, there, there it is. There's some people. You know how to do it from I here, right? I can pop that out. Yes, I can. Okay. Hi, everyone. Look at that. I can talk to people now, John. <laughs> That's good. Hi, everyone. Hooray. Uh, if you can hear us. Uh, type wonderful words in the chat that let me know that you can hear us. So here's me, la 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 la, and then Sean. Uh, it's me, la 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 Lola. Yeah. La 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 la. Sure, whatever it is. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Nope. Hey, and uh, everybody out there. So uh, we just went live because we were just like, we hit the live button. So if you could tweet it out, post it to Facebook and the Twitters and all that kind of stuff for me because. Uh, I guess you're on the computer. You could technically. I could technically do that if you wanted me to, but I mean that's 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 a, that's a lot of work. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I've got uh, I've got me here, and we've got Sean over there. Sean will be relaying the chat messages and any important information I need to keep track of. Uh, we've got uh, two cameras. We've got this one, and we got the other one, and we got this this massive monument to just a Ghidorah. It's a, that, that houses the filament, though, right? Yeah, filament goes in there, and wow. It's a filament that goes in a hole? Well, it's, I mean, that's an interesting way of doing, wait, is that, what? No, wait a minute. Huh. La, and someone's saying love mic isn't on, but I think, I mean, can you guys. What, my love mic? I don't know who's, I don't know who's. Okay. I could just be quiet. Sean's always quiet. Because some people are saying you could, you could see, you know, Joel's mic needs more power. It does. Okay, give me more power, Sean. I have given you more power. More power. This is why we start the stream and don't immediately go to the printer, because sometimes we need more power. Like, I'm looking at this, and I have no idea how to load the filament. I don't know. I, oh, does it go up there? That's what I am so confused right now. What? I'm gonna have to read the directions. <laughs> How are we doing on volume? Is everybody okay? I don't know. I'm saying that yours is They're low. They're saying mine is low. Low. Almost like you're echoey. Like you're coming off of mine, but I don't, yeah, Joel's mic is better. That's, that's what we're getting. That's better. Yep. Oh, it's better. Yep. Better. Okay. There's a delay. There's a, so I okay. see what you're saying in the, in the chat, but you're, you're seeing what we've done in the past. It's, it takes, it takes about like eight seconds. Yeah. Eight, nine seconds. There's, maybe even longer sometimes. So watch this. Ready? Ready? I'm going to do something. Okay. When you can see this, type how many fingers I'm holding up in the chat. This is a long delay. You should probably do do something besides just sit there. <laughs> oh god, that's what like fifteen seconds. Wait, are, is it? It's still not. It's still not. Is it frozen? No, it's not frozen. No. Two. There we go. So twenty-five seconds. Twenty-five seconds. Okay, we are on a twenty-five second delay apparently. Uh, I don't. Is there a latency option in the live? I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it, it next time. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, fix it yeah. next time. Do we have some viewers? We do have some viewers. We do. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's throwing up twos now. Two, two, Are two, they really? four, eleven, five. Five. Sure. Niner. Sure. It's like that part in uh, the Futurama uh, episode where the there's those the the people that like to consume information. They like things, and they steal a bunch of things. And they get something and they go, oh, binary, zero, zero, one, one, two. 
That's not possible. It's not. Uh, okay, so what we have in front of us here, this is the Flash Forge Creator 3. This is a machine that uh, Sean and I saw at the Cobo Center in Detroit during TC, uh, Rapid. Rapid, Rapid TCT. Rapid, Rapid TCT. Uh, Flash Forge was kind enough to send one out for us to use. So what we're going to do is get it out of the, the packaging, which we did. It came in a huge box, and I wasn't going to bring the huge box upstairs. But this is the printer right here. We got it out of the huge box. We're going to get it uh, working. You know, try to get it working. Well, I need more Red Bull. And then we have a project scheduled with it. I don't know. Should I start? Just start. Just I'm go. I'm going to start. We've, okay. got people in the, we've got people going and they're responding. We're good. Okay. Okay. Well, it's so tall that I have to stand on my tiptoes to get at this stuff. This is amazing. It's uh, heavy, too. Like, we couldn't, like, it required two of us to get it up the stairs. And I mean, I'm sure if you're, you know, the mountain or the rock, you could probably get it by yourself. I would love to see the mountain and the rock, actually, <laughs> like, taking this upstairs. Jeez. It's packed well. Chris Fieldhouse says, you are a legend, Joel. Aww. Jake from State You're Farm. breathtaking. <laughs> Jake from State Farm also wants you to fire me. Why would I? No. <laughs> this is a joke. Ja but. No. He's, uh, Jake from State Farm is the one that won the, the printer that I sponsored on uh, the Catchies. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I just want you to know, Sean did lick that printer. I, oh yeah, yes. Right. I totally did. Right. I totally. Oh, so did. here's here's the first thing. <sighs> okay. Manual. Aiden, Aiden May. Yes, I can say hi to you. Hello. Oh. Oh, that was kind. U.S. power cord. That's important because I have U.S. power plugs. Ooh, and a bag. Accoutrement, if you will. Inside. This is actually interesting. This is a bag that. Uh, I'm not used to this stuff. So we got a pancake wow. flipper. We do have some washable glue. But then also, uh, there's this tinier bag on the inside. And the tinier bag, well, it's it's got, let's see, it's got a USB. It's got, uh, oh, these are, it's got wipers. So because it's a dual extruder, I think uh, if you watched the, the rapid video, we talked about how the nozzles go back and forth over wipers. There's wipers in here. All right. Mark's gone wild, got a pretty good point. If Sean licked it, it's mine. <laughs> no take backsies. <laughs> um, okay, and this is this is a large piece of styrofoam that um, Hi from Spokane. Is it Spokane or Spokane? I say Spokane, it's but it's Spokane. It's Spokane. It's Spokane. Okay. Spokane. It's Spoke of Vegas. Does it have a USB? That was a question in the chat. Yes, yes. There is uh, a little USB uh, flash drive right here. That probably has settings and models. Where are the candies bag? That's a good question. We have some candies down in the drawer. Oh, oh, should I show them? I think I'll show them. Camera's on me, right? Yep. Okay. We do have a planned segment for Technically Nerdy because these were their originals. They have these chewy caramels. Chewy caramels. But Werther's originals also have soft caramels. So what's the difference between chewy caramels and soft caramels? Is there a texture difference? Is there a taste difference? Is the wrapper different? I'm curious, and so is Sean. So at some point, after some rum, we're gonna record what's the difference, and we're gonna feature those candies. We could some, do a what's the difference between- A lot, a lot of rum. Probably a lot. What's, yeah. I mean, we, that could be a segment, what's the difference? <laughs> yeah, sure, I like that. And we'll feature things like an apple yeah, yeah, and yeah. another apple, but they're different. One question, did you guys receive a package I sent about a month ago? It would have come from New York City 1032, 10032 uh, from fan mail. I can check. There's a fan mail section beneath, beneath it, down, down there. Uh, okay, and it's a package, is package. that right? Is that a, it's a package. It's a package, it is a package. Oh, I don't think there are any candies that come specifically with this printer. I, I don't. I don't think that that's a thing. Is uh, it from a Fernando Hernandez? Uh, it's a me. One zero zero three two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got it. Got it. We got it. Got it. Sean, I, I, hey, camera on Sean, please. 
Hey. Sean is actually heading back to Detroit to be with his family. Yeah, a little, a little bit north of Detroit, though. It's not... Uh, well, you're, yeah, you're flying. Yeah, I, fly, I fly into Detroit, yeah, and then yeah. I you know, drive two hours north of yeah. that. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. There's no hills, there's no mountains, there's no... It's just it's just flat geography. Uh, he'll be gone, which means I'll have time to probably record a fan mail Friday. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, uh, just for a couple weeks. Yeah, just, I mean... I gotta go get the... I, I, uh, I packed a, a car full of stuff when I first moved out here, but now I've got to pack a U-Haul full of stuff so I can have a nice bed, a TV, and a, a few things well, and that I've I mean, been missing. It's because Sean found a place. I did. I did. I found, uh, I found a place pretty close to here, like 10, 15 minutes away. Super nice. How's the internet? <laughs> to be determined. I'm hoping we get that this symmetrical gigabit up and down. It is available, it's just a little bit more expensive than it is in this area. Oh, okay, because it's totally worth it. Uh, yes, it is. And also, hi, Rad Gamer. Hi, Rad, gra Rad Gamer? Rad Gamer. Rad moos Gamer. Moosles? Mo moosles? Moosles? I don't know. Moosles? Mo moosles. I hate me says, two pieces. That's a, that's a cartoon thing. Uh, Phil Kelly, I am not. I am not a Flint person. I uh, am a little bit further. Flint's like an hour forty or forty-five minutes from Detroit. I am another hour north. I've never that. been to. Flint. Aren't they the ones that don't have good water? Yes, you've been to Flint. We had a meetup there. What? We did? Yes. When we had a meetup at a makerspace, and when you, when you came to Michigan back in January, that was in Flint. We went to. Oh, that makerspace! <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that was in Flint. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that makerspace. Okay, okay you're catching up on the chat here. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah. Uh, okay. Boy, lots of plastic. Just soft or chewy. Do you oh, look at this. Chewy? Look at this. This just giant, this, this behemoth of packing foam comes out. And then there's the build plate. So it's interesting. So if you look at the back of the build plate, it's got these notches in it. And there's a, it's almost like a like a picture hanger or a slotted notch so it can uh, so it can get in there. I really enjoy the uh, the suggestion of uh, what's the difference between some rum and a lot of rum. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That would be kind of interesting, right? <laughs> I mean, think about it. We could have what's the difference between one glass of rum and five glasses of rum. And we, we, we drink a glass of rum, and then we have to accomplish a set number of tasks. Yeah. Yes. Can you know what, we, right? Yeah, yeah. Are we able to c complete certain tasks based on how much rum we've right. consumed? Yeah. No, I like that a lot. I've, and I've been to uh, stag parties, bachelor parties, where after every shot, someone had to sign their name. Oh, yeah. And by the end of the night, I mean, they're not, it was just a scribble. <laughs> so I like we, that. Won't, we yeah. won't do necessarily signing the name. We but something. We could, we could sign prints. We could sign. Is this print sign? Yeah. Uh, Bay City. Yeah. That's exactly where I'm from. Bay City. Bay City go. Rollers. Is that where they're from? Apparently not. <laughs> Let's see. It comes with 1.75 millimeter, one kilogram white generic PLA. And oh, I like this. 1.75 millimeter generic blue PLA. G oh, oh, that's nice of them to include some PLA. Two rolls, because I mean, it is a dual extruder. So. Yeah. So some, this entire some... styrofoam thing was to hold the purge buckets <laughs> and the and filament. Some filament. Fantastic. Like, this is. Just to give you an idea how big it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they would like to, uh, a lot of questions about the print, the print volume of this. Oh, two. Do you remember? It might be. Up? Let's let me check the manual. It's like two, two hundred by two. It's like eight by nine by no seven by eight by nine. Don't don't ask me. How much is the printer? Three uh, D Jimmy, you did not win a prize. I'm very sorry. I don't have any prizes to give you currently. No, we are prizeless yeah, at the moment. Current. But but I mean that could change in the future. It could always change. Apparently this is thirty six hundred dollar printer. Oh, is it 3600 now? According to Dario 108. Okay. Well, the original uh, FlashForge Creator Pro was uh, 1200, I think. So they just embiggened it and then updated it to to be new. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Seed up 3D really wants to know how does it smell? Does it smell new? 
We'll give it a sniff. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna fan it. There you go. It smells like brand new plastic. Not like new car smell because of, there's no adhesives that are binding, but new plastic. It smells like new plastic. Okay. This is probably. I mean, uh, look at it. Look at it. It's. It's probably. I can't. Twelve inches this way. It's yeah, probably it looks like, a by three like I'm, I'm gonna eight verify inches, that. ten inches that way. We'll see. I'm looking it up. We'll just look at three hundred. Well, I, I just found it. Three hundred by it just went away. Two fifty by two hundred. There we go. That's what it was. It was the reverse order. It wasn't the eight by nine by ten. It was the ten by nine by eight, eight. or whatever it is. Yeah, because yeah, two hundred is essentially eight inches in the stupid system. Two fifty is oh, it's oh, it's, it's right there in the chat now. Too. Right, three. It's, three. So it's twelve. So it's twelve by ten by eight. Yes. Okay. Nifty. That's an interesting. That's interesting. So it's. It's Z is its smallest axes. That's interesting. You, yeah, don't, yeah. you don't usually see that. So, especially with a with a dual extruder, it's kind of I'm not used to that that being the smallest. You know? Yeah. Uh, I, I spell my name S E A N. Oh, did someone ask? Yeah. Seen the right way. <laughs> is it only five only five rums, and you're still smelling the printer? I'm gonna plug it in because I'll take I'm five crazy rums, like please. that. Uh, there was. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look at this quick start guide, and it tells me. Are you gonna actually like to do like, things. follow the instructions? You should just throw those away. I do, but uh, this time I'm gonna see what happens. Yeah. Uh, so it starts with leveling the build platform. That doesn't seem right. I mean, first you have to unpack it. Should I have to unpack it, plug it in, do some That's other things. That's after sales service. Okay. Does it tell me? Oh, here we go. Yes. It does look like a fat computer. You're it, it really does. Yeah, you are correct. Oh, remove clips on X and Y axes. Okay. Clips. Clips. Oh, clips. Can we dual extrude dual Joes? Joels? Dual Joes? Dual Joels. Dual Jowls. Oops. Uh, we could, actually. There's some clips. I don't think there's any more clips. <laughs> this isn't like a, ro this isn't a robo, so. Ooh. Cool. Jeez. Uh, Rumcon. Okay, uh, also, is there any 3D printing conventions coming up in Seattle anytime soon or any sort of maker fair kind of in issues Seattle? in Seattle? Uh, the is Seattle, Seattle Mini the Maker summer? Fair usually happens around September. Ah. Usually. But there's also uh, Rose City Comic Con, which sometimes Has maker goes stuff? on at the same time. Oh, really? Or sometimes the Portland Mini Maker Fair goes on at the same time as Rose City Comic Con. Gotcha. I need a stool. Jeez. Discord crew says hi. Hi. They miss you in the chat. Miss me? Yeah. <laughs> That's, that is not the sound I want my printer to make on the wow. first startup. Do, wow. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm going to go up tall. <laughs> Hi from the Netherlands. Hi Netherlands. Uh, you're tall. Didn't you're, the Netherlands you're super out of frame? Netherlands just played the the U.S. soccer team. Oh, right? probably not a thing to bring up right now. They just lost. No, the, well, they took second. I mean, it was it a good is, game. It's true. Congrats on a good season. Is the print bed heated? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh my god, a, a machine of this price without a heated print bed? I, that'd be terrible. Yes, that's correct. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it IDEX or two heads in moving piece? It is IDEX, independent extruders. So, uh, can the, you put a the, link to the... The $2 donation. Oh, thank you for the $2. Uh, can you put a link to the Creator 3 uh, video from Rapid? Oh, sure. Okay. 
That'll take me away from the chat for a minute, but well, I, just, I can do just, that. Just for a minute, right? Yes. I either need a smaller bench or... No, you don't need a smaller bench. Don't, don't listen to what people tell you. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, get back. Okay. I'm still here. Are you? Maybe. Are you sure? Working on it. I just have to put the bed down a little bit. Okay. Your, your trackpad kills me, man. My what? Your trackpad. It's terrible on that. Do you want a mouse? Uh, you would need, you need another USB port if yeah, you want a mouse. Have, uh, there are no more USB ports on this computer. Sorry. I guess we, we could get a Bluetooth mouse. Found it. I found the video. Bam. That's a Flash Forge video right there. Thank you, Sean. No problem. Those little wipers that go across the IDEX nozzles, those do need to be installed. And they look like... Uh, and they've been used. Okay, I wonder if this machine I've... then gets tested before it leaves the factory. Oh, do they give you a test print? No. Oh, oh God. <laughs> they should. They should. If, if they do testing. They Hi should. from Manchester. That's great. Hi from North Carolina. NC, I assume it's North Carolina. Is the power supply from China. Do we know what power supply it is? We don't. It's an integrated power supply. All of the electronics are inside. Uh, I can see if there's any markings on the outside. And there are not. Gotcha. Why not make Let's a bench see. you can lower? Yeah, why didn't, sure. why didn't you make a bench you can lower? Sure, why didn't I do that? Let's get a time machine and go back <laughs> in time and, and just tell me how much of a horrible human I am for having a bench that doesn't lower. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, okay. Those are in. The scrapers are in. Now, I believe it's time to load filament. Nice microwave. Hello from Belgium, Florida, Scotland, Michigan, Australia. People are just signing off from where they're from now, which is great. Um, let's see. It sounds like Sean needs more computers at his command. I, yeah. I like you, Phil. Yeah. So I, we'd have plenty of USB ports if it was running from one of our PCs. Correct. Nashville. Oh, bad leveling. Is there any bad leveling? There is. In fact, I'm about to do that. But so, is it auto bed leveling or is it, it, is is, it manual? Is it both? Uh, well, I believe what happens is it's, uh, let's see, level. There we go. So it's, and now it's, it's going to home, I guess. Home. Let's do it. Denver, Canada, New Jersey. Are you just saying random places? Washington, the state, not the city. America. Hello from America. Hello, America. Illinois, Puerto Rico, Wisconsin. Oh, jeez. Uh, now I wonder if people are just saying things randomly and making me oh. read them off. <laughs> New oh. York. Oh, God, that's heavy. I wonder if there's a way to take off this door. <laughs> oh, Portugal, this one. France. I Portugal. like Portugal. Durham. Okay, so Las Vegas. It's telling me to do something. Idaho, Atlanta. Oh, select the extruder. Okay. <laughs> you have a big, Make you sure have a big light the nozzles in your way. are clean. What? You have a big light in your way that you have to hide, shield the. I do. From. I know. Sorry. Okay, so the slow-moving platform is is gonna rise up. <sighs> this is. Slow. Should we take main cam and put it over by you? To go this way? Uh, no, I mean I have, I can I can see clearly what's going on. You, you can see clearly what's going on in there. Oh, you can. I think if you go that way, it's like my my view. I can barely see what's inside that right now. I can I can't. Oh, you can't see it at all. <laughs> so you want to turn this way so you can see inside it. Well, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, yeah I gotcha. Yeah, we could totally do that. Want to do that? I don't know if I don't know if we should risk it. Oh really? Yeah. E of little. Ooh. E of little faith. Let's see. Verify distance. So. Nebraska, Boston. How about this? Put it on you. It's on me. Okay, it's on you. It's on me. I'm sorry. Something. I'm sorry. It's on. I'm sorry me. for what's about to happen. Well, they're not going to see it. They're just going to see me instead, which is probably worse. Uh, careful with the HDMI cords. Oh, and the power cord. It's all right. It's all right. I got this. Do you? I this is scary. I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry. Joel's doing things. 
The it's battery, okay. Everything's okay. The battery's pretty low. Well, I... <laughs> I used it earlier today. Yes, you did. Now, now twist. Level it. Level it. This is... We're... This is compelling television. Got it? Directly into the thing? Just about. Hold on. Okay. All right. Let's see. <sighs> Screen on the top is an awful idea. I totally agree. Uh, from Mexico, hey, great. Germany, man, I got people from all over the place. Oh, you're turning on the li the light. Let's just do that. Oh, just yeah. turning it off. There we go. Gotcha. Well, there it is. Let's see how it looks. Boy, it's really dark over there. Is it dark? It's very dark. You want to zoom it in a little bit? Like this. Okay, so. The Creator 3 is huge. Okay, is this better? It is, but now everything's dark. Let me go boost the gain. Okay. We're working on it. Gain up. Get to some gains, bro. I'll never say that again. I'm sorry. There we go. This is going to be great. Yeah, no, it's not. It's, uh... <laughs> is it terrible? It's a thing. Hey, we, we got it. We're going. Oh, is it good? Yeah. Oh, okay. Max says it can print. Uh, like we said earlier, it's uh, 300 by 250 by 200. Oh, wait. Uh, the thing on the desk is not the original Posable Megazord. It is, uh, it is the Soul of Chagokin Megazord. It's, uh, it's, uh, the Soul of Ch what? Chagokin. It's, Chagokin. Uh, it's, yeah. You're just making up words uh, it's now. Pretty much. It's, uh, it's a line. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not cheap. It's, it's, it's plastic, but also metal. So it's fun. Hey, we've got a result. Turn the nut clockwise 90 degrees. Okay, here we go. 90 degrees. Did you see what I did there? I did. You turned it 90 degrees. They have these, look at they got little markings on them. So when it tells you to turn it 90 degrees, there's actually little marks to pay oh, attention to. Oh, that's fantastic. That is awesome. Okay, we just leveled. The, the left extruder, the left. So it allows you to home uh, both. I'm gonna have to go to the other side of the room to load filament on the other side. <laughs> uh, also, so should blue go in the left or right extruder? I need to know. Let us know. Uh, if I missed questions, sorry, we were kind of moving, we were kind of moving cameras around and stuff, so I'm very sorry about that. Just uh, re-ask them, sorry. Yes, re-ask questions if, if we've missed them. I'm sorry. Okay, homed. So now we get to level the right. Extreme. All words are made up. You're right. That's actually uh, true. That's correct. Oh, it's going to put the bed all the way. Why is it? Why do, why do printer beds have to home at the bottom when they're done? I don't know. This is really just exhilarating. This is terrible. Leveling hey. is my least favorite thing in 3D hey, printing. Hey, we can show and them. Like just just the worst. Where's the, where'd I put it? Oh, the axle's over there. You want to grab the axle real quick? No Haribo. Sorry. No candy whatsoever in this thing. I saw blue on the right. Blue on the right? Yeah, blue filament in the right. That's what I heard. Heard? Red. That's what you read. Red. Everybody's right. can, can oh, you see that? Oh, I'm getting a lot of left. This is, I saw blue right first. Uh, yeah, you can see that. Okay, good. So we're, we're actually uh, going to get this going and we're going to finish it. Like Dunzo, like bearings and if you know what that is, you should be excited. I know I'm excited. Uh, level. See, now it's got a home again. Jeez. Did you see Spider-Man 2 from that guy over there? We did see Spider-Man 2. Yeah, we, we did. We saw it together. Yeah, we did. Midnight. Didn't have midnight showing. It wasn't any like weird. Usually like when they release things like that early, it's like seven or nine yeah. or something. But they went back to like the original. 12.01. 12.01 a.m. 12.01 a.m. Locally here, which is 3 a.m. on the East Coast. But uh, yeah, it was uh, amazing. No pun intended. <laughs> it was super good. And uh, David, my 10-year-old son, he actually went to a midnight showing and only fell asleep a couple times. <laughs> he did fall. I had to like poke him in the arm. To, uh, to wake him up a couple times. Although, to be fair, when he fell asleep, it wasn't because, it was because it was the non-action scenes. 
Yeah, it was the non-action scenes, and also it was 12.01 a.m. He'd been up all day and forgot to take a nap. Yeah, he forgot. Uh, why does your Power Rangers thing have an elephant for an arm? <laughs> because, you know, just like Voltron is lions that become a big thing, right? Yeah. Uh, the Megazord is different dinosaurs that become a big thing, and that's a mastodon. So uh, the mastodon is oh. the shoulders here. Okay. And it's also the, you can't, they can't see it in the, in the shot, but it, he's, it's a shield. It's a mastodon face shield. Oh, they shield. can't see it? No, it's, it's just out of frame. Yeah, it's not. It's just well, Why did you put that out of frame? Because I have to also frame my head. <laughs> I figured that was more important. I don't know. Ask them. Is it more important to see uh, the Power Rangers toys or your head? I'll wait. <laughs> C-Dub 3D, $5. Thanks but, for the smell. Have to go finish packing for VidCon. Have high five. Fun. High five. High $5. Thank you so much. That will be put to very good use. The prices of coffee at my coffee shop. Uh, they had to increase the price of the beans because their supplier charges more now, so coffees cost more. So I can't go there and get as much coffee. Oh. I'm actually, uh, I'm going to use a reward system. I'm going to say for every video I release, if it hits 30,000 views, then I, I, I win a coffee. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's my, uh, unless someone buys me a coffee, like, or whatever, then I can go get another coffee. But, sure. But, uh, yeah, I have to win my coffees. So, the Alcarian, Sean, you say the letter H like you're an Irishman, and that, that's because I am. So, <laughs> your, uh, your Sean, hair isn't that red. It's a little red. It's, it's a, I, I, I don't think so. People say it's red. I think it's very light brown. But, uh, yeah, no. Sean, with a name like Sean Connolly, most of my heritage is Irish. Sure. Well, and if you have, I mean, it's slightly red hair, so just you have slightly less of a soul than most. Right. That's fine. Ooh, that was like if you modeled rumble. Isaac, if you modeled the Megazord, I would print the crap out of it yeah, in the correct can. colors. Yeah, you would. Okay, it's homing. Please wait. I guess I can get <laughs> the, these out. The thrilling action of this printer. I can't handle it. Yeah, sorry, Ard. <laughs> Us too. <laughs> I wish there was other things to entertain you by, but uh, this is like a, this is like a telethon, I guess. You. You get. Oh, uh, oh, boy, that was. Does that smell good? That, well, it smelled like it had been in there a while. Gotcha. Because uh, it has the... Uh, <laughs> it's been in your garage for a bit. Um, Actually, not that long. Yeah, that's true. The Z-Morph has been in the house for a lot longer. Compared to other yeah. things, that's very correct. Uh, someone asked about lights, soft lights for uh, a small apartment or whatever. Um, Meaning for, for uh, filming for and stuff? For filming and stuff. Yeah, probably for YouTube creator stuff. Uh, it, I mean, I, I don't... I don't know the name of them off the top of my head. I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll tweet at me uh, at the Sean Connolly later. I'll, I, I can get you that answer. But they are they're the cheaper version of what we use here. I use the Aperture 120Ds. Uh, there's, an, there's now a version two of those as well. But we use those with a light dome that softens the, the, softens the light. Because uh, otherwise just the LED by itself is a very harsh light. So uh, it's a very cheap version of that. And those are awesome. I mean, when I say cheap, like these are like $600, $600, $700 lights. Those are like 120 bucks, 150 bucks, comparatively. Uh, you can't see this, but I'm putting it in, and apparently you're supposed to feed it through. Andrew A, six bucks. Here's a coffee on me. Love your channel. Oh, thank you, a Andrew A. Andrew A. Thank you, Andrew A. I will put that to good use like tomorrow. Tomorrow I will get a coffee. I'll name it Andrew. So I don't know. Joel hasn't used the Andrew three much. Uh, someone's asking about the Andrew three. Uh, uh. <laughs> I haven't because I don't have it anymore. Uh, right, um, and my opinion from the small amount of time that I've used one, uh, I liked it quite a bit. I mean, the, the print quality you can get out of it is stupid for the price. Like I've like, heard it's good. As long as you don't mind tinkering, it's worth it. That's a Sean opinion, not a Joel opinion. Let's see. Oh, it's heating both extruders at the same time. Okay, I have to go over there to the other side to load it. I have to go... 3D Printing Llama. Hey, what did you ever do with the evil Joel? F oh, that, that's to me. That's to me. I printed it, and I tweeted it. Like, that was like the first thing I printed when I got here. That was Seattle. the first thing, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it fell, and the tail broke off, and I'm sorry. Oh, do you hear that noise? Yes, I do. Do you hear that? Uh, tell me if... That is terrible. Uh, but 3D Printing Llama, thank you so much for, for, for printing that, or not for printing it, for modeling it and sending it to me. Now I've got it, and it is a perfect representation of is what it? the boss is like. Is <laughs> it? Yes. 
So I'm putting it through a switch that I believe is a filament sensor. Hey, Eddie's here. Hey, Eddie. Uh, Joel, do you still have any love for Robo? <laughs> oh, I got, I got a story. So, I should was, get back that, into camera flow because it's a loud. great little story. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. It was just, it was just on the nothingness the whole time. Sorry. About that. Was it really? Yeah. yeah. On nothingness. I, mean, I went back to me occasionally. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so the Robo, the last Robo R2 was, uh, I had it, it was here, and I didn't know what to do with it because I couldn't just give it to anyone. I had to give it to someone who was qualified. I had to give it to someone who would know what to do. Um, we, ha we have, uh, there's a local Facebook group and my, oh my goodness. <laughs> there's a local Facebook community here where uh, people, is that, get in there. Okay, it's loading both. That's fantastic. Where um, people can talk and uh, barter and give things away. Uh, you might want to look for it. It's the, it's the Buy Nothing initiative. So like a, a look for Buy Nothing or Gift Everything groups near you. Someone was giving away uh, a Stratasys machine. It was missing a bunch of components. They're just giving it away. And I was like, uh, maybe I could take this, but I, I ended up not taking it. And I was like, oh, by the, name, by the way, my name is Joel. I run this, this show, 3D Printing Nerd. He's like, oh, I know who you are. This is awesome. Right, but right. Maybe, you could, maybe we could do a swap or something. And I was like, how about I just give you the robo instead? No joke. And he's like, okay. Oh, uh, uh, quickly, we've got some donations here. Um, we've got uh, Rhonda Kirks. Kirk, Kirk, sure. Um, Howdy from Tacoma. Can you, hey! can you unbox a Prusa MMU when we get one? Sure. Uh, I will talk to Joe about getting an MMU 2. Yep. Uh, and here's some Taco Bell taco money. <gasps> Buy some nacho fries on me if you want. Oh. And that's $5. $5? $5 right there. I love nacho fries. Those are so good. Howard DeMarzo. I saw the alien lamp today. Loved it. Keep up the content. Love your channel. And Ellis. Thank you, Howard DeMarzo. That's really kind of you. The lamp is actually right over there, and I'm trying to find a place for it. LSD Bonos. LSD Bonos. $4.99. Please pull that SWX. Wait, how much? $4.99. $4.99? Are you out of your mind? There it is. Please pull up that SWX one. Also, do you still have that ruby nozzle by the wig? Also going to buy High Five Blue soon. Enjoy your coffee. Uh, good job on the channel. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. Uh, there's, uh, let's see. I have the Ruby nozzle on the Ulti Maker, and I actually have somewhere over there. There's a box with a, a 0.6 Ruby nozzle for 1.75 machines. I was going to put that on the Artillery X, uh, the SWX. Oh, uh, SW1, sure, yeah. X1, whatever it is. Yeah. It's up and ready at this point. Yep. Let's see here. Like no joke, I. Okay. That was, that was exceptionally easy. Uh, five pounds, I think. I found some high five blue in the UK. Looking forward to using it from DJ Legion. BJ Legion. DJ. DJ Legion. Yep. DJ. That's a good DJ name. Like if you're an actual DJ, that's a great name. Joel, you're going to use going to the Fusion 360 Design Slam in Portland. When is that? August fifth through seventh. I don't know. It I may be. It's close to birthday time. It is, but we may be. I can't oh, yeah. speak about the trip yet. <laughs> but right. we, we may be, be. We may be out of the country. Yep. Maybe. Okay. So in goes the the USB. Like it's it's ready. Price of the printer is three thousand to thirty five hundred dollars. Is what I keep seeing in the chat. I think 3, so. Three thousand to thirty five hundred bucks. Uh, people are saying it costs so much, and you're just printing PLA. That's what it comes with. Well, yeah, we're just it's just tests. Okay, that's boring. Stop having a boring tuna. So, Creator Three PLA is that a thing? Okay, it's going to take 45 minutes, and okay. So it looks like um, it's, it's got internal storage. So I think there's some sort of internal flash memory. 
And if I have something on a memory card or a, a USB flash drive or a little USB stick, what it'll do, it's got the files on there and it can copy those over. Uh, it'll copy those over to the hard drive or the memory within the machine and then it can print those. Uh, right now it is uh, 420, 420 p.m. Uh, someone's asking if Right now Moscow. it's really loud is what it yeah, is. Yeah, it was really loud. And it's 4.20 p.m. Oh, right now. Oh, it's 4.20 p.m. Yeah, yeah. And then someone from, from Moscow is asking. So oh. It's 2.17 a.m. There. Oh. Or 2.20, absolutely 2.20. The minutes don't change. Did you back chib, Chibi Moles by a 3D printing professor? I did not back Chibi Moles by a 3D printing professor. They look cool. I, I just, I, I didn't back those. But they look neat. Okay, it did something. So the problem with this machine, even though it's fully enclosed, it's, it's loud. Like I can't see this being in an educational institution in a classroom printing, it's too loud. Right, yeah, that's, that's, that's too much. Uh, like this is gonna have to go in the garage. <laughs> well, yeah. for sheer size alone. Yeah, right. I mean, uh, fighter, yeah. fighter Frog's Endeavor, Five dollars. My channel has nothing to do with three D printing. That's all he said. Wait, he or she? Five dollars. First of all, high five dollars. Thank you so much. Who is it? Fighter frogs. Fighter frogs. Fighter frogs. I'm going to venture a guess and to say it's a cooking channel, <laughs> a French battle cooking channel. That's Speaking, what I'm going to say. Well, uh, is, maybe is, is it? Do you do you just play battle toads all day? Is that what fighter oh, fighter frogs is? That's yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, five dollars from Eddie. Buy Sean a sandwich. What sam? Here's a question, a Sean. Sandwich. What what sandwich would you eat? Oh, oh God. I like I like turkey Havarti, turkey uh, pepper jack. I like I like pepper jack cheese, but I also like Munster cheese. So some, really, something with some Munster on it would be Ooh, good. Ooh, okay. Yeah. What do you put on your sandwich when you go to Subway? Uh, what? Lonnie Hol Holcomb, two dollars. Hold on, Russia or Idaho? Question mark. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Russia or Idaho? Yeah. For what? I I don't. I don't and what know. was it? Two dollars? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Let's see. Um, both Russia and Idaho are known for potatoes, right? Yes. Sure. Uh, yeah. Is that it? I, I mean, I, I, I like I, French I'm fries. Not, I'm not sure. Uh, so, uh, Subway sandwich. What do I get? What do you put on it? Yeah. yeah. I I like veggies. Oh, just the veggies? What, like from the veggie section? What do you put on? Depending on the sandwich, right? So depending on the sandwich, if it's a, something that I like, to, that I want to be a little bit saltier, I will go with banana peppers, pickles, black olives, uh, and then I'll do like salt and pepper oh. on top of that. Savory bits. Yeah, yeah, savory, savory things. So obviously some lettuce, uh, maybe, maybe some peppers, like green peppers. Okay. But banana pepper, probably not. Of course, mostly just the banana variety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, and then if I want it to be spicy, I'll take the pickles off and I'll swap in jalapenos oh yeah. okay good call mm -hmm. i like that a lot of people think that jalapenos are like the, the the poor man's spice sure right because they're just generic but i think i think a good jalapeno is hard to beat for the texture oh, the I'll, flavor oh, and the I'll, heat oh I, yeah i love i love jalapenos for sure i mean i mean i, I would go with hotter things too but that's, sure that's fine well we, we proved that in toronto <laughs> yes we did you notice how i said toronto not like a, a U.S. person, but yeah. like a, a Toronto person. Right, yeah. you don't pronounce that last T. Also in Toronto, when we did that hot sauce challenge, something hurt my throat. There's literally, I have to go to the doctor. There was something wrong with my throat. One of the hot sauces sat in my throat, and it hurts a lot. And so every once in a while, I try to talk, and I go, oh, and it gets caught, and, it's, and oh, it hurts. No. Yeah. We got some, yeah. More, some more coming in here. Thir okay. Thirteen ninety nine Canadian. <gasps> Canadian from, from Bob Hiller and no no message just oh just thank you Bob Hiller thirteen ninety nine Canadian I think that's that's probably twelve U S yeah ten twelve I don't think it's ten I think probably that's not probably, yeah, 12. Yeah, probably, probably twelve probably twelve yeah, well yeah. that's two high fives and two dollars <laughs> sure why not thank you for the tw the thirteen ninety nine Canadian it's a two dollar thing but it says message retracted and no name to go along with it so I don't know if that was like you took it back or. Or if you did so they, they gave the two dollars, but then they took the message back. I think so. Okay. Well, thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, and Mike Hutchinson, 
Four ninety nine. No mess. Four ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? mind? Yeah. Mike Hutchinson. Uh, 3D Makers, thank, welcome to the chat. They're a member. They've entered the chat. Hey, thank you, 3D Makers. Yeah, if you want to become a YouTube member, you get access to After the Five. So After the Five is the show that we produce after most videos. In fact, we have the review, or the, no, the initial impressions of the Orange 10, right? Yes. And that's going to, is that going to go tomorrow, maybe? We're, that, that's what I hope. <laughs> We're hope, hoping. I, I, I think so, yeah. yeah. Probably go tomorrow. But we did film an After the Five for that. So Patreon... Uh, window or uh, the the YouTube members and website. Oh, and the website too. Yes, you can go through yes. the website. Uh, but everybody gets those people all get access to after the five. Uh, apparently, it's ten sixty eight U S dollars. We were both incorrect. Oh man. Oh geez. There it is. That's the noise. Can you hear? I mean, jeez. Is the chamber heated or is it just the bed? Just the bed. The chamber is. J T. How's it going, dude? J T. Says hi. Hi. Oh, from JT. Yeah. Oh, because my initials are JT, so I thought. Oh. You, yeah. No, not you. Okay. So I did the leveling, and it, I can't tell, but God, the nozzles look so far away. But it's held down. Okay. Okay. Interesting. It's so loud. Uh, do I need to close it? Like. Is yeah, it, I think you should close okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna close it. Uh, also. Did somebody ask a question about video production stuff? I'm, see, I'm seeing something in there about glass and video quality and stuff. So if you guys, if there is a question that I missed, please re-ask. And I will be more than happy to answer. Huh. It seems to be going. It is not a Mack truck. It is, in fact, a 3D printer. It is not a what? Mack truck. It is not. It's the size of one. <gasps> Let's 3D print wheels for it. Yeah. Yes. Just roll it down. Roll it. It's oh, a tank. It's a tank. Then we can print some sort of firing mechanism, something to shoot stuff. It spits out filament into a ball, and it goes ping, and it spits it out, and it spits it out ping. I was thinking ping. like desiccant bags. It's building a raft. I uh, I need to finish my robo story because then I just got reminded of another robo story. Is it on me? Yes, yeah, on you. Okay, so this person I gave the robo R two two was fantastic and I was like it should work this one was one of the working ones um, works great with ABS have fun with it and he's like thanks I can't wait to play with it hey you know I, I'm gonna be getting another Stratasys I was like why are you getting another Stratasys he's like I like the build volume and I like I like how rigid it is I'm like have you heard of the rail core and he goes no I'm just getting back into things so I told him to go look up the rail core he watched my video on the rail core and he got excited because he's like I didn't know this existed thank you so much I think that's what I'm getting and then he showed me a picture of what he'd printed on the R2. It looks great because he said the, um, the rods were bent. The eight millimeter rods were bent, but thankfully he had spares and he was able to fix it. Uh, so LSD Bunno is $1.99. Dollar $1.99, are, are you, you out, out of your mind? mind? Make some maker coins and send them to our members? Question mark? For, on what? Members, just as members. Uh, no, no, make maker coins, but I don't know, like uh, specifically on a on a thing. Like, like, like I, I think you're, I think you're your maker coins. Make your maker coins and send them to members. Oh, I could. Yeah, 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 yeah I could. Uh, I could make a maker coin level. Knack 3D Designs. Just because I never got my high five, here's five dollars. <sighs> oh, it's Carl, right? Hashtag sword fight. Ugh. I love you, Carl. No joke. Carl is the one, for everybody that's wondering, Carl is the one, NAC 3D Designs, is the one that produced the White Knight printer that we saw at Murph, that belt printer that was just gorgeous. And it's better, I think it's better than the uh, black belt, because that's what we called it, the White Knight. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, someone says, put the flash forge on the swivel so you can just swivel it around when you need to change forge. I would need a really heavy duty swivel. Yes, you would. It's a heavy thing. It's uh, so loud. I'm so sorry. DSK, I love my real core. Like, there it is. Oh, DSK 001? Yeah. Oh, um, he is the one that designed the Jupiter that we need to put together. Yeah, we do need to put that together. We did do, uh, oh, here, let's, I'll go get this. Uh, so someone, let's see. So look at that. That is Mjolnir covered in Goop. green stuff. 
This is the stuff to, to sand away. So this is the filler, and you can sand it down smooth. This is the stuff that Bill Duran of Punish Props and Harrison over at Vulpin Props, they use, they recommend. So it's really great. And uh, this is Mjolnir from Chaos Cortec. I wonder if we can do that trick with it. Oh, it fell. It fell. Uh, chip, chip, goo, 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 I don't know. It's not that loud for us, they say. It's not that loud on the stream, guys. It's okay. JT. Well, anyway, we've got this coming up. I had a very special friend <laughs> help me put this together. And the goal is to, I don't want to spoil it, because I think nope. we can make it happen. But the goal is to deliver this to a very special recipient in Las Vegas with the help of some robotics. We'll leave it at that. Uh, now i got to put it over here. It's loud, it's loud enough. The printer is loud enough to, jo to drown out Joel's kids. That's true. They were yeah. just yelling yeah, downstairs. They were just, they were just yelling. I heard Riley go, Ow, why would you do that? Yep. So it made a raft. Uh, it did a good job with the raft. It's doing a great job with that raft. Yeah. I'm sorry we don't have anything to zoom in on that with. I mean, yeah, we do. Nope, that's your face. <laughs> well, here, if we open it, here, see if you can get in on that. Oh, you're going to make me do camera work? Just, just slightly. Hold on, everybody. Ooh. Right there. There you go. That's about as far as she goes. It's doing, I think, the second or the third bottom layer on top of the raft. Can you see it okay? Yeah, kind of. Okay. But people get an idea of how it's working and how it's moving. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I guess you can put it back on me now. I did. Oh, or I guess all of us. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this because Flash Forge, the Creator Pro, is my first machine ever. Right? If I hadn't had that machine, I wouldn't have started this channel. Very true. And so and someone asked earlier if we still use it. We don't. It's under a it's under a pinball, pinball machine. machine. <laughs> Isn't that where all machines are kept? Uh, Joseph Koval, Koval, uh, thank you for years of great videos. Curse you for the damage you've done to my wallet. <laughs> How was your Prusa? Plus, Protopasta been working for you since the upgrades. Twenty U.S. dollars. Twenty dollars! Holy cow! Thank you so so very much. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I caught flack for that video because people had told me it was the the wrong thing or it wasn't the right fix. Um, that may or may not be true, but it works for me. And Protopasta filaments and some other filaments that had issues with can now print on that Prusa without any issues. Plus, anytime I had to um, remove the filament from these machines and it would back out, it would be it would end up with this bulb at the end and sometimes it would get caught in the gears or caught in the little PTFE tube that goes past the filament sensor. Now it doesn't do that. Now there's not that ball at the end and it works great. Uh, I, I just, I'm, I caught flack for that video, didn't you I? You sure did. I, I, I caught flack for that video, but, but in the end, it works for me. And in the end, all I can do is tell you about things from personal experience, because I don't want to tell you about things I haven't had experience with. That's why I don't tell anybody about Ender 3s. <laughs> but my personal experience with that one test gives me a different result, a more positive result, and so that's why I like it. Sure, it's not the scientific method. Sure, it, it wasn't a bunch of different data points, but it works for me, and that's why I tell you it works for me. So I, if you go that route, if you have the same issues and you go that route, I hope it works for you. If it doesn't, um, you may want to switch out your Noctua fan for a Sunlu fan, which is slightly louder, but it has four times the airflow, I believe. Oof. So there we go. Yeah. It's doing a good job. Like the, the print looks good. And the thing to remember, right? The thing to remember is how easy it was to set up. Right, I mean, I was quick. I was farting around, but at the same time, I hit like seven buttons up there. It took you longer to put a CR10S Pro, Pro together. It took you longer to find the screw that you lost. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Yep. It took us longer to put the, uh, the ref box together. True. We were having a lot of fun there, we though. We did, we did. Hey, should we tell people what tomorrow is? Should we? Can, should I? What I is, don't know. What is, oh. 
Oh, right. Uh, yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow. It's Sean's birthday tomorrow. He's going to be 38 years old. No, I'm not. <laughs> Quit adding years. <laughs> I'm so old. God, 33 is enough. 33 is enough. He's going to be 33. Oh, that's your special, right? Anytime, or no. You know, your, your, your magic birthday is when it, you're as old as the number. 79 will be my birthday. July so, 9th, 7 9th. No, it'd be 9. Or it would be, it would be, so oh. your ninth birthday was like your golden birthday golden, or whatever. Golden birthday. My, gotcha. my, my, my year 4 was my 4, you know. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, sure. Yeah. What are you printing, Joel? I have no idea. There were three things on the, uh, on the SD card. Or not the SD card, the USB stick. There was something that said PLA, and it looked like it had two colors on it. And then there was something that said PLA 1 and something that said PLA 2. <laughs> gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's no indications as to what it is, because halfway through the, the starting manual, it switches over to Chinese, and I'm unable to read Chinese. But it looks like the same pictures as what's in the front of it, so I assume that it's just the Chinese version of the English instructions that were in the front. Gotcha. Uh, thank you all for the happy birthday wishes. I very much appreciate Aww. that. Uh, hey, maybe. Yeah? Maybe tomorrow we, we do a Brain technically fart. nerdy stream for your birthday and we talk about some Werther's, some candies. I like that. I like that a lot. And I should, I'll buy you lunch tomorrow. Oh, a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Don't you, don't you knock a sandwich? Well, I'm not. Uh, let's see. Jetman, Sean is the same age as me. There you go. Bam. Really? Uh, tomorrow's also Admin 3D's daughter's fifth birthday. Admin 3D? Yep. Well, oh, happy... Ad Adam in 3D. Adam, oh, Adam in. in. I was like, Admin 3D? I'm like, there's an admin? Nope. Adam in 3D. Well, a big happy birthday tomorrow to your daughter. Yes. Make sure you tell her happy birthday from the 3D PM crew. Yeah. And, and make sure she says happy birthday to Sean, because that just wouldn't well, be right if she didn't. Sure. I'm waiting for it to kick over to the, uh, their extruder, man. Price is around three thousand dollars, guys. Build volume is three hundred by two fifty by two hundred. Uh, dual extruder and it's IDEX dual extrusion. Right. All in, enclosed. Obviously, you can see that it is enclosed. Uh, heated bed, HEPA filter. Uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Oh, actually, go watch this video. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of stats in there. There we go. So the left extruder does have a little giblet of nozzle goo coming out of it. A little, little extrusion, just a little bit. So oh. I'm curious to see if it's going to wipe that and then take care of it. Gotcha. DSK, $15 to celebrate with rum tomorrow. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you so much. Like Sean, you, you, have you. you have to drink rum tomorrow. I have to drink rum tomorrow. That's darn. <laughs> Gotta get the Diet then Coke you to go with name. it. Oh, well, Coke Zero. Is Coke Zero and Coke rum Zero. good? Uh, you know, I only ever have Diet Coke with rum. because I, uh, I just What's say, the difference? I don't know. That's <laughs> We're going to find out tomorrow. That's exciting. Nerdy. Wow, look at that. Did I gouge my... Oh, look at it. Is that from... it? No, these are rubber feet, so it must have been from something else. Yeah, look at that. You can see it on camera, too. Can you uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, Sean. Five pounds. Buy yourself a beer from this. Any plans to do a video on resin safety with the new cheap resin printers coming out? Yes, absolutely. So we have our, our little bits recorded for the Orange 10. I do have an update that Sean and I are going to record and insert into the video to make sure we get it in because I, I think that we need to further promote the safety conversation around these machines because we're getting into that, that price range where it's democratizing resin printing. We're getting to that price range where people can now pull the trigger without having to save for it, right? People have those, some people have price ranges where they're like, ooh, if it's technology and it's 99 bucks, I'll just buy it. Right. Right. Yeah. Or it's like, I don't have to ask my significant other if I can buy it. Right. Right. Yeah. So the Orange 10 is $229 US. That's ridiculous. The Elegoo Mars is like 249 or 349 or depending yeah. on when it's on sale, the yeah. mono price one uh, is like 249, I think. So we, we've got a couple of them. And in the video, we kind of address safety a little bit. I just want to make sure we have it at the forefront. And so we're going to include a little addendum to that video that hopefully comes out tomorrow that addresses the safety around 
incredibly inexpensive resin-based 3D printers. I would just hate for someone to get this machine for a birthday or a Christmas or a whatever and then, uh, and then not be okay because they didn't heed safety warnings or they didn't know to be safe around these resins or whatever. Right. Cody Ulrich, can't let DSK be the only Discordian in here. $15, more rum. More oh, rum. Oh, I do have a Discord. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I need to pop in there more. Cook Zero, Cork Zero with vanilla rum is somebody's jam. Is it Van oh. Michael? I've done vanilla Coke with, with Captain Morgan Spiced Rum. Also, Adam in 3D, his daughter's name is River, and she says happy birthday back. Aw, oh, River. That's a great name. It's a fantastic that name. That is a very Doctor Who name. Yep. That's what I thought. Uh, they said, this, someone said that it looks like it uses proprietary nozzles. That's, um, I don't know the answer to that question. I know it's not an E3D hot end. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, imagination to form. You guys remember that $99 phone DLP print? Oh, wait. That what? The $99 phone DLP printer. Oh, the oh no. Oh, no. The oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I remember that. Where'd they go? I still have a picture of when I posed with them. It's when Angus from Maker's Muse was at the Bay Area Maker Fair. Yep. And he and I were in front of the Ono oh booth and they came out. And I remember one of the guys was like, Angus, you're the one that made that video about us. And just jokingly put his hands around Angus's neck and pretended to choke him. And I have that photo. <laughs> and I just, you know, who's around now, Angus or Ono? I think it's uh, Angus. Yep, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure it's Angus. Hey, you remember that $99 Kickstarter printer that uh, was, you know, the Obsidian? Remember that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's doing great, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> Uh, does the new SL1 from Joseph address some of the safety issues more than other resin printers? And I'm going to say a little bit because you do, it gives you the curing and, res, or, and the right. washing station that you have. An, you have to pay more money for. But um, having that kind of built into a, you buy both together, I think that kind of helps address that safety concern. Well, one of the things you get when you have like the, the Form 2, the Form 3, the SL1, anything that comes with a washing station and a curing station, it means that you have to handle the uncured resin less. And that's, that's, a, that's a safety thing right there. Because uh, you can take the build platform from the SL1 and just move it over into the washing station, I believe, and it washes it. And then, uh, and then it has the curing station as well. I don't know exactly the operation, but I know with the form as well, you could take that plate and put it right into the, cure, or the washing station and it would wash it off. Uh, so you're, you're, you're not having to risk handling as much uncured resin as before. And uh, you, do, you do pay for that convenience. It's just one of those things. Yeah. Uh, Michael says, uh, anything, thoughts on the 3900X from Ryzen, Ryzen 3? We just talked about that. Oh, we did just talk about Okay, Sean, take it. Uh, it's 500 bucks and blows away the Intel i9, which is fantastic. That's uh, insane. I'm going to buy it eventually. I don't really have, can't do it right now, moving costs. But in the future, probably October-ish, I'm going to get one. I'm jealous. I'm jealous that he's got one. He said he waited in line and his wife like gave him the disapproving stare. But really? he waited for five hours and he got one. Yeah. Oh, is it up and running now? Yeah, he said he's, it's, it's screaming. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. How does it do with heat? I mean, it's got more cores in it, right? It does. Know. Actually, heat, heat dissipation is very uh, handled very well. Really? Yep. Is it because yep. of a giant heat no. sink on it? No. I mean, if you're going to overclock it, you're going to want more. Yeah. You're going to want uh, an aftermarket heat uh, uh, cooling solution, yeah. um, probably even water cooling. But the, uh, the, the fan that comes with it is pretty darn good. Oh. Uh, $5. You always say you should be in the Discord more. Just say I do. Buddy. I do. <laughs> Who's that from? Cody. Oh, thanks, Cody. I know. We, uh, Sean and I are implementing things to hopefully make video production better around here. Um, I, I can tell you right now, uh, we are, uh, we're implementing one large project per month. And that's not to say one video per month, but the idea being we can focus all of our efforts towards a larger project. And this month it is the OpenRCF one. I show them the axle. Yeah. Uh, and that's not to say there aren't going to be awesome bigger videos that come out during the month, but um, but yeah, one larger project. And it could be that it could be that what we do is then we give some some awesome updates to that one larger project 
on Patreon uh, for the YouTube members and for yeah. the, the people that support through the website. Uh, we, and, and the idea being that the larger project means we can, we can put forth more days of effort, we can put forth more time, more energy, and just it, it would hopefully be awesome. Yeah. Uh, and I'm also giving sneak peeks on my own Patreon. That's now. right. Sneak peeks and tutorials on video production, editing, uh, motion graphics and after effects, uh, that, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. so what's really cool, Sean does a lot of the, the motion graphics stuff, templating and uh, editing on the channel, obviously. And so he has a lot of knowledge in that area and he wants to tell people about it. So rather than just putting up these quick things, he's doing in-depth tutorials on how to use Premiere and After Effects and, yep. and editing tricks in those. And so he's putting those on his own Patreon page. In fact, his first one was how long? 30 minutes? It was 30 minutes long, just it about. Was, it was like between 20 and 30. So I think I, think I got down to like 25-ish. Okay, 25 minute tutorial on a very specific thing on how to do it in a video. And what's great is then he's not just giving you something here, just go use this and then everybody's gonna have it. He's telling you how to create it so you can take that information and make something of your own. And I think that's the cool thing right there. I'm really excited to see some of the first results of the tutorial, because you do have patrons. Yep. It'd be, it'll be neat to see that. Uh, about three years ago, $10 from Carmander. Carmander? K-H-A-R Mander, Car, Carmander. Oh, Carmander, thank about you. About three years ago, I saw one of your videos. I went out and bought a printer. Now I have an Ender 3, and I'm learning Fusion 360 and starting to make my own models. Thank you for inspiring me, Joel. High five, oh, $10. $10? Yep. Holy cow, $10, thank you so much. And thank you for the wonderful story. That is amazing. And it's, it's so good to hear that you're beginning to use Fusion 360. I remember I stayed away from it for so long. I was so intimidated by it. But I had Angus show me a simple thing and that got my ideas going and my imagination was sparked and I created my maker coin. And since then I've done lots of projects in Fusion 360 and I've done lots of tutorials in Fusion 360. I hope those have helped as well. Thank you for that $10 again. That was just wonderful. Wow. Uh, Cody, again from the Discord, uh, what about letting Patreon members contribute to projects? Yes. Oh, that is, that is definitely, definitely one of the great things about this because, uh, and I learned this from Bill, right? If we right. put out some, some updates on projects, then because there's plenty of time I can in week one say, hey, Patreon crew, we're doing this thing, but we have this problem ahead of us, or we have this decision to make in a couple days. What do you think we should do? What's your best guess? What have you done in the past? That sort of stuff. And so not only, not only do, do my patrons now support what I do, not only do they allow me to hire Sean for, for time during the week to be able to edit and film and be a part of the live stream, but now my Patreon my supporters are going to be able to help influence the videos and and not only just get a sneak peek ahead of time and find out before everyone else but you're now going to get to influence the video and i think that's awesome two dollars from yes oh boy i oral y-i-s-r-o-e-l is oil is oil I don't know. Uh, high five, Joel. Love your kind and positive attitude. Oh, $2. thank you so much. How much? Two bucks. Thank you for the two dollars. That is amazing. And I try to be kind. I try to be anything. If anything, I try to be kind. So Dynamic Adhesion just asked, anything more to come with the FRCF1 race car? Yes. We oh, just, yes. We just, yes. We, you must have just missed it because we just talked about <laughs> it. Earlier. But it was, uh, but yes, we are definitely doing that this month. Uh, hey, Joel or Sean, what is the best way to get someone to let you get a 3D print, oh. What is the what? I don't know, I, I lost it, I lost it. Um, Type it again if it was important. Yeah, uh, that's what okay. Oh, uh, is there any sort of retail space for 3D printing in Seattle? There is not, unfortunately. The, the, the only retail space that used to be around for anything 3D printing related was at Fry's in Renton. <laughs> And Fry's is now just one big, sad, empty space. Sad. Yeah. There's no more 3D printing anything there. Home Depot used to have Dremel 3D printers, but they don't anymore. Um, there's no micro center here. It's sad. I wish there was a micro like, center. Like, there's none. Yeah. I have to buy computer parts on Amazon or Newegg or somewhere. Because Fry's doesn't have them. Nope. Not anymore. Uh, nope, not anymore. 
Kurt Kelling, I've been binge watching your videos for the past few weeks. Keep up the good work, guys. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I hope they're bingeable. Yeah. I need to put out some more playlists. <laughs> it's like, sometimes they're a bit long. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I've never been accused of not talking. I'm always talking too much. Ah. Hey, Joel, this is Joshua Lucas. Hey, Joel, for, thank you for putting out great content. I follow you and Press Reset on Twitter. Oh, and I just that. helped you with the LBRY the other day. How oh, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, okay. how is that going? Did I help? Yes, actually. So LBRY is a blockchain-enabled video uh, or, or content sharing I don't want to say site. It's like a mechanism, right? Because it exists on the blockchain. Uh, uh, the idea being that you can now share your videos and they are decentralized, much like how cryptocurrency works. So then if you put some up on YouTube and YouTube says, no, you can't have it here, YouTube makes the decision. But on LBRY, it's decentralized. So you get to make the decision. And there are there's LBRY as a coin. And so what you can do is give your content away for free or... Or you can charge a certain number of coin and then people would have to contribute to it. Uh, it's not a high value coin by any means. And I had originally signed up saying, hey, just mirror all my YouTube stuff over there. Let's do that. And then I thought, that's probably not the best idea. I should probably have some control over that. So right now I've just uploaded my Harry Lion video because why not? It's a good video. Yeah. It's my good. most popular video. Yeah, I mean, and, I'll, and I will start to put other videos up on LBRY. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, when you stand up, you're a little out of frame. Am I? Yeah, just your hair. Uh, that happens. <laughs> it's tall. I so far, this is that. printing Me a box. Too. This is printing a box. Will you be... No, I, I know the answer to this, and I'm very sad about it. Joel, will you be attending Star Wars Celebration? No. <laughs> it's in Chicago? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Eddie says, Joel, I heard you promised to be the most awesome printer ever. Is that true? This, this to be the most awesome printer. Did ever. I promise that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember promising that. I don't, I don't remember promising that. Uh, I don't remember promising that, Eddie. I remember, all I remember is someone named Eddie saying that they were going to uh, build a rail core at Murph and then, <laughs> and then just, I don't know what happened there. It's a burn. Is it? I don't know. It, it's not that much of a burn, is it? Oh, hey, look at that. I think it just switched to the other, it's switching to the other extruder. So exciting. Uh, Do you have favorite budget printers? I mean, I know Joel's typical answer for that is, you know, he, any printer that does the job he's looking for to do. Well, well we're talking about favorite budget printers. Right. Okay. Yeah. Depends on the budget, right? Because some people, the Prusa kit is considered a low budget machine. And for some people, the, um, the Creality Ender 3 on sale is considered the top of their budget. So I'm gonna consider under 500 as being a budget scenario. And uh, I like the Ender 3 from what Chuck tells me about it because I haven't played with one yet, but according to Chuck, it's the bee's knees and I've seen it in person. I've seen what he does with it and it's fantastic. Also the CR10 Mini, which is usually under $500, uh, he has a lot of those as well, and those are pretty good. I know that TiVo has the Tarantula Pro. I have one downstairs I need to put together. That's supposed to be $200. I know um, there's the Alpha Wise U30, which is a GearBest brand, which is, I think, three-something US. Um, I still have to put that together and take a look at it. Uh, Longer 3D, along with the resin machines, has the LK4, which looks like the Alpha Wise U30. Uh, there's also the Alpha Wise U30 Pro, which includes better TMC drivers and a bigger touch screen. Uh, 3D Maker Noob actually just streamed putting that together and printing with it. So, yeah, your options are kind of limited when you go under $500, but I mean, there's, it, it's not like bottom of the barrel stuff. There are machines there that perform really well. There are machines there that people use in farm situations. Uh, once you go about $500, I mean, the Prusa i3 Mark III S kit is just phenomenal for what it is. It's like 749 US and some people cry, that's too much, I can't believe it. It's like, it works really well. It's got a great support system. And we have a tour of the Prusa facility that just goes to show you what 435 employees can do. It's crazy. Above that, uh, it's starting to diverge a bit because 
You had the Robo, which no, they don't they don't sell or support the R2 anymore. Strange. Uh, you had the Ultimaker 2 series, which doesn't exist anymore. You, it's the Zortrax machines are now above two. They're they're above two thousand. Um, the 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 Lulzbot Mini Two is like still seventeen hundred dollars. Um, Too much. It's it's a bit much. So <laughs> you have this. You have the Z Morph VX. You have the Race Three D Pro Two. You have you have the Funmat HT. You've got the Dremel Three D Forty and Three D Forty Five. You've got the Maker Gear M Three. You've got all sorts of these machines that are way above that $500 mark, but we're starting to get into some high-performing machines, some robust machines. Someone right. said, isn't it printing out of place? No, it's... Yeah, it's, it's coming into the... Yeah. It's forming a top of sorts. Yeah, uh, the alignment's actually perfect. I also agree with the Sidewinder. I saw some... I think Eddie said uh, Sidewinder X1. Uh, for under 500 bucks, and I'm, I'm going to agree with that. The, the oh, print, yeah. The, the quality I forgot prints, about that one. The prints that I see out of that, crazy. Yeah. I totally see there's so many. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's downstairs. I should put it together. Yeah. We really should. I'm running out of room. We have none. Once I move out of here, you'll have more room. Actually, that's true. So the room that you use, I mean, it's just going to have shelves of machines in it. Yep. It's going to get really hot in there. It sure is. It already does. It's my room. <laughs> I had to. You had to. It's true. Yeah. Crying does heat the room up, doesn't it? Oh, Josh. Josh from I Like to Make Stuff. Hey, you guys. Hey, Josh. Josh just put together a, a Mark III S kit. He did. And he printed the collapsible lightsaber. Oh, yes. In I fact, go, can you go get a, the, the blue sword looking thingy over there? Right there. Right there. Right, right there. Well, bam. Yeah, so we did this in High Five Blue. Kind of like kind of like the lightsaber, but it's a, it's a pirate sword. I think same person that made it. Uh, that makes sense. I was going to do a snack pack on this. How's that going? I don't know. It's kind of... There we go. It does get stuck. Uh, but that turned out well. Prusa did great with this model. Um, the Ultimaker with their... Their, um, oh, what was that? Their, their stuff. I couldn't get to going on the Ultimaker. Mm. There we go. Five pounds. 3D Five printer pounds. nerd. After watching videos from you and 3D Maker Noob, I now own two printers and have designed multiple props for my local theater group. That's, that's really cool. That's super cool. Wow. Five pounds. High five pounds. Thank you. Uh, I've heard from a number of people that 3D printing is great for the theater community because it's easy to make quick props or brackets to hold stuff that are needed. So if you need something that evening for the show, you can create it and have it ready to go. Uh, In fact, when we were at uh, the Tonight Show, New York? The Late Show. The Late Show. The Late Show. I don't, I don't know the Late Night Shows. I don't know okay. what they are. Yeah, yeah. It was the, uh, the late, late Night with, Col late uh, with, yeah, Stephen, with Colbert. Stephen Colbert. Yeah, they, they found you and they were like, holy crap, we just bought a printer and we just watched all of your videos and you have helped us tremendously because we use this on a daily basis now. Yeah. Yeah. And Matter Hackers, I know, visited Cirque du Soleil. And what's great about 3D printing and Cirque du Soleil is they have, Cirque du Soleil is synonymous for crazy stunts and they have a bunch of things that attach to other things that should never attach together. So you have to 3D print brackets or ways for these things to attach together. And they do that. And then what's great is because the performers are crazy awesome, sometimes these things break, they just print it again. So they're not out, they're not out a bunch of property, they're not out a bunch of money, and they can rapidly reproduce parts. Does Flash Force still use Sailfish? No. Not that I know of. I believe Flash Forge moved away from Sailfish, and I don't know exactly what they're on now, but I know that their machines are Polar 3D Cloud enabled. Flash Forge has the Flash Forge Cloud, but they also connect to the Polar 3D Cloud. And I know it's not Sailfish, I don't think. It's, it's some other thing. Oh, I like to make stuff. Uh, Josh, we're about to release a 3D printing related video this week. <gasps> are you? What's it about? Can we is it about? Is it something to do with your your uh, your farm? Let's make it. Let's make a video in relation. 
Yeah, what day and what time is it coming out and what's the title? Because uh, <laughs> I, I could really, I could produce a companion video, no problem. No problem. We'll, we'll shoot that real quick. No problem. <laughs> what's the title? When's it coming out? What's the thumbnail look like? What size table will, will be needed for this beast? This is, uh, can you get my tape measure there? The one you threw at me earlier? The one I threw at you. Yes. Uh, so really, we're looking at um, at least two feet by 20 inches. So. And sturdy. And sturdy. Hey Siri, what's 24 inches in metric? Let's see. I wonder if anybody's Siri it's, will have gone It's off. 600 mil millimeters. Is it? Yeah. Oh, because 12 is. Yeah. 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 Okay. What's 20? Hey Siri, what is 20 inches in metric? I don't know. It didn't get it. Hey Siri, <laughs> what's 20 inches in metric? Okay. I found this on the web for Hey Siri. What's 20 inches in metric? That's terrible. Check that's out. not. That's uh -huh. not. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah. We've, we've, I've hit my limit. You we hit, have to, we have to, we have to cut wrap stream. it up. Yeah, we got to wrap it up. But here's what's great. We got this machine set up and we got it printing. We answered a lot of questions. We had a lot of fun. And, uh, and follow me on the Twitter, at Joel Telling, and follow Sean on the Twitter, at the Sean Connolly. We will post some awesome shots of this thing when it's done so you can get a taste of what's capable with this machine. Uh, I appreciate you coming on to the stream. That was a lot of fun. It was really impromptu, but we had a good time. Any uh, any last thing, Sean? No, just just thank you for all the support for throughout the chat uh, with your with your comments, with the donations, with your Patreon support, whatever it is. Whatever, however you want to support us, just by watching, that's awesome too. Thank you. And we'll do our best to get a Sean birthday stream tomorrow over yes. on Technically Nerdy. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Fun. Well, from all of us here at Three D Printing Nerd, that's me and that's Sean. Uh, Hug each other more. I love you all. I'm, I'm sure Sean has love for you, I, too. I also love you, yeah, yeah. yeah. As always, high five. <laughs>